When you're creating your podcast content, when are you actually supposed to record your introduction and your outro? Should this all be done in order? Is there a specific way that you should do this? Yes, there is. I'm so happy that you asked and that is what we're gonna get into today. So let's get right to it. Hey y'all, Crystal here today, and I'm excited to talk to you about your podcast content because I've done a few videos all about how you can set up your podcast format. Check out this video right here that will definitely give you at least a foundation for where you need to get started with your podcast format. But today I wanna to specifically talk about how you do your intros and your outros for your individual podcast episodes because it actually does matter which order you do this. So let's just dive right in. Now for this video today, I am going to specifically be talking about interview episodes. I have so many resources for you solo podcasters, but today I wanna to talk specifically about interview episodes because they have kind of a harder introduction and an outro. If I'm just doing a solo podcast, I could literally hit record and not stop until I'm completely done and do everything in one fell swoop. It's not the same with an interview. That's where it gets a little bit trickier. So I wanna talk about the three parts that actually go into a podcast introduction whenever you have an interview. The first one is I want you to actually introduce the episode not just jump right in and start talking about your guest and what you talk about, like ease into it a little bit. I want you to talk about what is gonna be the number one takeaway that your audience is going to have after they listen to the episode because that is what's gonna get everybody to stick around and actually listen to the whole thing because they're gonna say, oh, they're gonna solve my problem. They're gonna give me an answer to this one thing that I've been wondering forever because you're offering value, right? Like that's that's the whole thing that we're doing here. So I wanna make sure that you tell them from the get-go. The next part of the introduction is, I want you to tell your audience about your guest. This could include the bio of, you know, whatever it is, their background or something special about what they do. You could tell about your their business, if that's relevant to your podcast. But I want you to do a short, quick introduction so your audience knows who your guest is. And then finally, I want you to dive into, this is the conversation with my guest. Instead of just saying, okay, this is gonna be your number one takeaway. Here's a little bit about the guest. And then you just start the interview. I want you to say, now here is my interview with, put the guest name in there, right? It just, it, this is not rocket science. It can be very simple, but I wanna make sure that you include at least those three things. So let me recap those real fast again. We have the hook or whatever the biggest takeaway is going to be for your audience, a quick introduction of who your guest actually is. And the third is I want you to actually say, this is my interview with my guest. So then the next obvious question is, when do you actually record this, right? Like this whole introduction that we're talking about here, when is the best time to do that? I'm gonna suggest that you do this last. I want you to have already conducted the interview, collected the guest bio, and you are just waiting for the publication process to happen, like the actual production of the podcast episode. That's when I want you to record these, not before you've spoken to your guest and not before you've actually already had this conversation and you know what the number one takeaway is gonna be. You don't wanna guess at what it's gonna be and then you actually have to go and delete that and change it because you went off on a totally different direction whenever you started talking to your guest, which happens. I've had so many organic conversations flow out of an interview and to be honest, they ended up better than I ever expected them to be. So I want you to do this after you've already done your interview with your guest. But I also want you to do this after you've done the interview and you've collected the bio for your guest because even if you've already talked to them, let's say you had the conversation two or three weeks ago, 
I want you to have the bio right in front of you because even if you had a lot of takeaways, you remember important things about the conversation, there are probably some important things that your audience wants to know that is in the bio for your guests. So make sure that you have that in front of you while you're recording the introduction for your interview episode. And then the last thing I wanna make sure that you have completed before you record the intro for your interview episode is finish all the editing. Because in the editing process, not only have you already recorded the interview, you are listening back to your conversation. So whenever you go to record your introduction, you know like it is right there, it is top of mind. You're like, oh, this is the number one thing that we talked about. This is what is going to benefit my audience the most. And I know that they will stick around and listen to this because it's super important. And I honestly forgot we even touched on that because this conversation happened a long time ago. Do you see where I'm going with? Like, I want to make sure that you provide as much information up front for the introduction of your episode. That way people are more likely to stay until the end. Okay, and I know we've been making this whole video all about the introductions, but real quick for an outro for your podcast, I wanna make sure that you wrap up and either do a recap of what you and your guests talked about or make sure that you replug anything that your guest or you spoke about. This could be the guest uh, social media handles, or maybe they had a free resource that they wanted to share with your audience, or maybe they accidentally forgot to say something that was super important, like maybe they had a promotional product coming up, or they had something and they just slipped their mind. Put this in the outro. I have done this multiple times, and then I've also linked to it in my show notes because I want to make sure that the guests are getting the promotion and the spotlight because they have come onto my show and added so much value. So it is the least that I could do is to remind my audience, hey, by the way, they had this amazing freebie or this amazing program or event or book that they wanted to share with you. So I wanna make sure and restate that again in the outro for the interview episode. But tell me in the comments below if you are interested in the introduction for interview episodes or you want to know more about solo episodes because I'm creating more content surrounding content creation. I know that's kind of a mouthful, right? But I want to know if you are interested in or solo podcasters or for interviews. So tell me in the comments below. Okay, let's get back to the video. So to recap everything that we've covered here today, I just want to remind you that the introduction and the outro for your podcast episodes are super important. You can make sure that you hook your audience in to listen to your entire episode, and you can also remind them some of the great takeaways that you had with your conversations and how they can connect with your podcast guests. So this is important. Make sure that you pay attention to what you put in the intro and the outros for your podcast episodes. But that does it for today. So if you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you gave us a thumbs up and subscribe below. That way you don't miss our other podcasting videos that we put out every single week. Make sure you check out these other awesome podcast videos that we have here. Like I said, we put them out every single week and this is my favorite thing to talk about. Podcasting, podcasting, podcasting. But remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.